everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecturing YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about the cardiac cycle. What do we mean when we say cardiac cycle? What do you know about the heart? Have you watched our, our video on the anatomy and physiology of the heart? Have you watched our video on the blood flow through the heart? Have you also watched our video on the electrical activity of the heart? If you've not done so, kindly do that before watching this video on the cardiac cycle. But before we go into details, you know what to do. Kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be talking about the cardiac cycle. Do you know the cardiac cycle is the same thing as your heart beats? Oh, you don't know. Now you know. And at rest, the human heart beats at a rate of 60 to 80 beats per minute. Wow. And what does this cycle entail? What does this heartbeat entail? This heartbeat usually entails three things, consists of three things, three aspects, which is one, the atrial systole the ventricular systole and the complete cardiac systole. So whenever you are asked to talk about the cardiac cycle in the exam hall, these are, the, are basically the three important things they want you to talk about. So and each of these take approximately 0 0.8 seconds. Sorry, the whole, the whole thing, the whole cardiac cycle takes approximately 0 0.8 seconds. So what happens is that first of all, there is atrial systole. What do we mean when we say atrial systole? Atrial systole simply means the contraction of the atrium. And we all know that the atrium is the upper chamber of the heart. And the duration for that is 0 0.1 seconds. Then the other is ventricular systole. Ventricular systole is a contraction of the ventricle, which is the lower chamber, the lower part of the heart. And the duration for that is 0 0.3 seconds. Then the other, the last one, is a complete cardiac diastole. Whenever you hear diastole, what should come to your mind is the relaxation, the resting phase. So this complete cardiac diastole, simply talking about the relaxation of both the atrium and the ventricle. And this takes place in what seconds? 0 0.4 seconds, making it what? 0 0.8 seconds. Like I always say, if you understand the electrical activity of the heart and the blood flow through the heart, you'll be able to understand properly what this cardiac cycle is all about. Remember we said when we were talking about the blood flow through the heart, we said that deoxygenated blood comes from here, the inferior and superior vena cava, into here, the right atrium. Then we also said that pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood into the left atrium. The fact is, both this part and this part, they do their actions same time. So when there is um, atrial filling now, that's atrial, the, first of all, the atrium is being filled with blood. These two atrium, they are filled with what? Blood. This one is deoxygenated blood and this one is oxygenated blood. So when there is filling of this atrium, the pressure is now increased. What happens is that normally the blood passively, freely, because it's coming down, flows into the ventricles, right? So with this contraction, if you notice now, this sinoatrial node here, it diverts its contraction activity, the impulses to the other atrium. So with that sinoatrial contraction, it ensures complete emptying of this atrium into the ventricles. I don't know if you follow now. So now, the ventricles is now filled up. When the ventricle is filled up, these punkage fibers, that brings impulses from the atrioventricular bundle causes contraction of these ventricles. And when there's contraction of this ventricle, it leads to the blood in them going up. You know, when it contracts it, it pushes the blood up. Where is this one going to? If you understand the anatomy and physiology proper, the blood in this right atrium will pass through the, uh, the pulmonary valve into where the pulmonary artery. Why the blood here? will pass through the aortic valve to the aorta. So when there's contraction of this ventricle, it pushes the blood up. You get, when it pushes the blood up, then complete uh, cardiac diastole takes place and the heart relaxes 
to get ready again for another feeling and cardiac cycle so that is what the cardiac cycle is all about it's just trying to tell you how there's feeling of the atrium feeling of the uh, ventricles and emptying of the atrium and emptying of the ventricles and this um, emptying of these ventricles is as a result of pressure difference seriously when the pressure in the atrium is higher than the pressure in the pulmonary artery for those that understand the anatomy and physiology or the blood flow through the heart when the pressure in this atrium is higher than the pressure in the pulmonary artery the pulmonary valve opens then the blood goes up the aortic valve opens and the blood goes to the aorta same applies to this is a pressure difference that actually causes the opening of the valves and also the complete emptying of the content don't forget each cardiac cycle consists of atrasystole, ventricular systole and complete cardiac cycle and taking for the age 78 beats per minute the total like the total seconds for each one each cardiac cycle each heartbeat is 0 0.8 seconds Atrasystole has how many? 0 0.1 second. Ventricular systole has 0 0.3 seconds. And the relaxation, which is the complete cardiac side, diastole, has 0 0.4 seconds. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and don't forget to share Watch With Your Friend if you got value. Before I go, don't forget to register for our classes on Telegram to have access to all our voice notes on the various system, community health, cardiovascular system, respiratory system. Remember, we make learning easy and accessible for students. See you in our next video. Bye.